All right, thank you, Bob. Well, plastic bags are one step closer to becoming a thing of the past in Baltimore City. Last night, the ban was given final approval by City Council, and now it is headed to the mayor's desk for signing. WJZ is live at City Hall. Stetson Miller tells us what's next for the ban and when it could go into effect. Stetson? Hey Denise, good evening. That's right. The ban was approved by City Council. It failed eight times before this and it took years to pass, but it finally has been approved. Now it has to go to the mayor's desk and then shoppers could potentially no longer see these plastic bags in stores late next year. You likely won't see these plastic bags in Baltimore City by late 2020. City Council gave final approval on Monday night for a bill that bans retailers from using them. The bill was proposed back in late June to try to reduce plastic bag litter and to encourage residents to take reusable bags to stores. The ban not only forbids plastic bags, but it also requires that retailers charge a nickel for any other type of bag given to shoppers like paper bags. Councilwoman Danielle McRae cast the single vote against the bill, saying she supported a plastic bag ban, but not the fee. I know that pennies add up. I know that dollars add up. And my vote will be a consistent no when it comes to unnecessary taxes on my constituents. The ban applies at stores like supermarkets, pharmacies and gas stations, but exempts some things like meat, produce and dry cleaning. Some residents walking near City Hall on Tuesday said they're glad to see Baltimore taking a step toward making the city greener and more environmentally friendly. You can see them blowing around everywhere. Um, it's causing um, so much trash in the city. I think it's high time we stop using them. But others aren't as happy about the ban. I'm a yes and a no. I think we have more important things to do than banning plastic bags. We have skyrocketing crime. They should stop throwing the bags on the ground. Keep the bags, recycle them, or something. Resident Ryan Saunders says he supports the bill, but doesn't think residents should have to shell out money for other types of bags. And we're paying enough taxes as it is, so you know to charge more money for paper bags is just unheard of. And again, Mayor Young still has to review this bill before it can become law. He just needs to review it one more time. Live at City Hall, Stetson Miller for WJC.